Again, I want to remind our viewers that our lines are open. If you have questions regarding supported living, please give us a call at 312-738-1060. And Rebecca Drennan is a marketing and leasing associate of St. Luke's Renaissance Greenview Place here talking to us today about supported living. Now, we talked a little bit about your role and some of the things that you do. And we're just getting into the area of cost. So if someone who has less means what can they do if they were interested or a loved one who is interested in maybe finding out more information about financial assistance? I would encourage you to give us a call at 773-525-1501. Each case is individually looked at, but somebody that's on a limited income, perhaps, like I said, just getting Social Security with no assets, mm -hmm. we can apply for financial assistance for them so that it's affordable. Supportive living is out there for people to make it affordable. Um, we always want our residents to be to have quality living. People have worked their entire lives. They deserve a, a beautiful place to retire in. If someone is, is getting just Social Security, mm -hmm. we can apply through the state to compensate their income um, to make it so that they can afford the studio apartments that we offer. Um, our one bedroom units that we offer are, are private pay only. Mm -hmm. um, so we do have a variety of services and options for people um, depending on what their needs are and what their financial uh, situation is okay. that they're in. And I know you mentioned compensate. So basically, if their fixed income is $1,000 a month and the cost, obviously, for the studio or the unit is a lot more, yes. you will apply for financial aid or financial assistance mm -hmm. uh, from the state. Mm -hmm. right? And then they will pay the difference. Yes. If if they qualify. That's, and what's that's really nice too is medications. Nice. When they right. qualify for that too, medications are inclusive with that. Um, all of their doctors that mm -hmm. they're seeing is all covered. So it makes it very affordable for so many people. And and when you think about it too, it's sixty five. I mean, who wants to cut grass anymore? <laughs> I know I don't. <laughs> Usually, our average age in supportive living runs about 80 plus. Really? Even though we do have people <laughs> as young as 65 and um, people that can be there up over uh -huh. 100. Right. Um, so, the, it is, it, it does offer um, a, a wide range of ages in the communities. But right. a, as a rule, our average age is about 80 plus. Wow. Wow. I, I think that's, that's absolutely wonderful. And I mean, we are living longer. We are. So we can find a hotel type setting <laughs> that can do everything for us. And you see, it's Absolutely. funny you say that because so many people walk into the building and they say, this looks just like a hotel. <laughs> and it really does. It really does. If you've never been to a supportive living community, you really should stop in and tour one. You never know what tomorrow is going to bring. Your right. health could change. Your loved one, a family member could have some health issues where they need additional support. It's always nice to know what's available out there before right. you need it. Well, you know, I do want to uh, remind everyone that uh, the St. Luke's Renaissance Greenview Place for affordable, supportive living facility, please feel free to call Rebecca, uh, who's talking to you today about what are all the benefits of supported living and you can reach her at 773-525-1501 again at 773-525-1501 or you can visit www.theirrenaissancecompanies.com yes okay again that's www.theirrenaissance the companies rena the renaissance the companies. renaissance companies oh okay yeah, dot com one. that's a long one might be easier just to call rebecca again <laughs> at 773-525-1501 um now i know this is a brand new building it is brand new brand new we are still um finishing the 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 finishing touches of the construction we are actually moving our first residence in a week from tomorrow, which oh. will be November 11th. It's exciting. It's very exciting. It's very exciting. And, and the residents are very excited to move in. Wow. So you have studios, one bedrooms, 
two bedrooms. And we, no, we have studios, one bedrooms, and shared suites. Shared suites. Our suites. shared suites are actually two studio apartments okay. with adjoining door. Okay. So that if somebody I is on. I just want to make sure you had it right. You know. <laughs> yeah. If somebody's on financial assistance, our one bedrooms right. don't have financial assistance associated with uh -huh. them. So if you were married, uh -huh. you can have oh, okay. two studios that sit yeah. side by side with yeah. an adjoining door and still be able to be with your loved one. So if someone wants to come in just to take a look at the place, to get a tour again they can call you directly they can call or they can stop by there's always somebody available to tour you now this new building is located where it is located um, in the Lakeview area huh? about a block from the Lincoln Ashland Belmont um, er intersection um, it's awfully nice for the residents because we have the banks are right there the theater is right, right there they have accessibility to walk to many of the different options that um, the Lakeview area right. option uh, offers now, I know you just moved into the building, right? I did. We, we moved in Friday, so it's, it's, been, it's been busy. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good thing, though. It's a and, good thing. And, and as people find out more and more about assisting living, I think that, you know, as it gets out, and I know that, that which brings me to, I actually wanted to ask you this, SLF, you hear that. Most of us who do hear it don't know what it means. What does that mean, stand for? It means supportive living facility. Uh -huh. How easy that was, <laughs> but it's it is when you haven't seen something before. It, it's it is confusing to know what what the abbreviations are. But but SLF is supportive living, which means that there's financial assistance available with that type of a community. You know that kind of brings me to think. Can you tell us, Rebecca, what is the difference between supportive living? and assisted living. Is there a difference? There is. Um, assisted living is, is private pay only. So if somebody is living in an assisted living community and they start running out of funds, they have to move. Mm. Um, with a supportive living community, if you came in and you were privately paying and you started to reduce your funds, then we can apply for financial assistance for you so you never have to move because of money. Wow. So that's really the basic between the two. We offer okay. very much similar as far as the services mm -hmm. go. It's really about the financial availability that's that's offered. So with supportive living has that ability to keep you and they don't have to uproot you to have to leave if you're in an assistant living situation. Yes. That that can happen. Sometimes people don't think they're going to live quite as long as they do. Right. So they think that they've saved, and unfortunately, sometimes the, the money starts to decline, and then they've been at a facility for 10 years or more, and, mm -hmm. and they don't realize that their right. dollars are starting to... But, you know, you have all these different concepts up there because, I mean, not only are we hearing about supportive living, which I think is a wonderful opportunity for 65+, plus, um, and then you have the assisted living, obviously, mm -hmm. um, which for which me are is beautiful supportive buildings too. also. But, you know, you also, I, I've been seeing a lot of things pop up as well with 55 plus. Yes. What is, what is that about? 55 plus is usually for independent seniors. So. Wait a minute. 55 is senior? Yes. Yes. <laughs> There's a trouble. lot of senior buildings <laughs> popping up, though, that are independent senior uh -huh. buildings that have financial assistance to them that start at 55 and older, but there's no services associated with those type of communities. So okay. you still need to be extremely independent, still being able to maintain your own mm -hmm. your own care, your own health, your own medications. So it, that's more like a condo style living, mm -hmm. except you're independent. You don't have all the amenities that we're talking about right. with supportive living and or assisted living. Yes. So you really have to be independent at the 55 plus. Okay. So you've had all these stages to go through. It's nice to have those options for people, though, because yeah. some people are healthier right. at 65 and other people's health is starting to decline. So it's nice to have an option and right. a choice. So, Rebecca, let me ask you, if you were, and you are, speaking to our viewers who have parents who are 65 or older, and as an individual, you, you've talked a little bit about your personal experience with your mother-in-law, what would you tell our viewers? I mean, is I know you recommend it. But is this something that you really, really recommend? I, I mean, we can talk about it because that's the work that you do. That's, you know, it's, I believe in the program. Area, but you have to believe in it. I believe in the program. I think that it offers um, opportunities for people that might not otherwise have. Maybe they're unsafe in their apartment. Maybe they're in a nursing home and don't need the skilled mm -hmm. care that they're receiving in a nursing mm -hmm. home. So it provides a very nice opportunity for, for people that fall into those niches. It also is just 
there's many miracles that happen every day in supportive living communities. People come in where they were in their own home mm. and they maybe they had cataracts and they couldn't see or they couldn't get out and they mm. come to our community and now their cataracts have been repaired and they can see and they're out walking and their whole life has changed. Right. And it's just, it, it, it brings tears to your eyes sometimes to see these changes. Right. And it really, it's, it, it really is. Many Miracles, I think, is really one, one of my girlfriends had said it uh -huh. that way one time. And I think that that really describes a lot of the things that happen in those type of communities and, and the relationships. And who has a job right. that right. they walk into a building or a community every morning and there's people sitting there waiting for you to come that love you, that greet you, that can't <laughs> wait to see you. Absolutely. It's just, it's one of the best Absolutely. jobs that I've ever had. Oh. I, and I, I totally agree with you. Again, I want to remind our viewers that... Uh, if you have questions about affordable, supportive living, a facility, uh, of which there are many, and Greenview Place is one of those up and coming in the north side of Chicago, uh, located at 1501 West Melrose Street, which is the Lincoln Avenue, Ashland Lake area, area, Lake yep. area, and you can reach Rebecca at 773-525-1501. Again, that's 773-525-1501. You know, time goes by so quickly when we're talking about the topics that are important, but we cannot say enough, again, about this new way of living. I mean, supportive living is something that I think our 65-plus community should consider, should look into. And again, back out, you, you, you're talking about, you talked about tours, Call you, you come around, family Call members. Me, stop I mean, in. Yeah, anything. Um, we're real flexible. If you work during the day and you need to meet at night, if you are working during the week and the weekends are on, the only time you're available, we are very flexible for you. Um, and very accommodating. So give us a call or stop in um, and we will always be there for you. That's fantastic. Well, I know the time goes by so quickly. Again, I wanna I, I want to leave you in closing with uh, aside from saying thank you Rebecca for coming out and sharing such wonderful information that I think that our viewers I hope you've learned a lot and I, and I hope you give Rebecca a call again you can reach Rebecca at 773-525-1501 at Greenview Place so what I want to say in closing is thank you for coming out I hope you join us again and to tell us all the new wonderful things that are happening after your tenants have moved in and how well it's going and I know that we're going to be hearing more and more about supportive living communities. So on that note, while living independently is critical to health and happiness, there may come a time when little helping hand can make a big difference in how much you enjoy life. At senior living communities, seniors can enjoy the comfort and freedom that comes with living in an affordable, well-appointed apartment, home with amenities and convenient supportive services. But more than that, they provide a peace of mind that comes with knowing a helping hand is ready that your loved one should ever need. So on behalf of my colleagues at Hispano Care, Advocate Illinois Masonic Hospital, Gottlieb Memorial Hospital, and Rebecca at Greenview Place, we want to thank you for allowing us to share this important information with you today. I would also like to thank Advocate Illinois Masonic Hospital and Gottlieb Memorial Hospital for their continuing support of Hispano Care and affordable, accessible, bilingual, and bicultural health care to Chicago's Latino community. My name is Lucy Aquino, and I represent Hispano Care at Advocate Illinois Masonic. So even though we're cutting out a minute early, I think, I think you have a lot of more to learn. So stay tuned for our next guest speakers who will be coming up shortly. Until next time, we'll see you next month. Be well.